going on to part two of Black Beauty. <laughs> and part two is the hunt. Before I was two years old, uh, what's that word? Circumstance. Circumstance happened, which I have never forgot. It was the, it was early and in the spring. There had been a little frost in the night, and a light mist still hung over the woods and the meadows. I and the other colts were feeding at the lower part of the field when we heard quiet in the distance what sounded like the cry of dogs. The oldest of the colts raised his head, pricked his ears and said, there are the hounds, and immediately, pardon, cantered, cantered off, followed <coughs> by the rest of us to the upper part of the field, where we could look over the hedge and see several fields beyond my mother and an older riding horse of our master who also standing near and seemed to know all about it. They have found a hare, said my mother, and if they come this way, we shall see the hunt. And you know the cool thing? Mm -hmm. The hunt. The hunt. Yeah. And then there's a picture. Yeah. Okay. The picture is, I, it might be their mother, Earth Master, and um, Black Be the Black Beauty Master. And soon the dogs were all tearing down the field of young went next to the to ours. I never heard such a noise as they made. They did not bark or howl. Nor uh, wine. Wine. But kept on a yo yo, a yo yo yo. <laughs> it at the top of the voices after them came a number of men on horseback. Some of them in green coats, all galloping as fast as they could. That old horse snorted and looked eagerly eagerly after them and the young colts wanted to be galloping with them but they were soon away into the fields lower down here it seemed as if they had come to a stand uh, the dogs left off barking and ran about every way with their noises to the ground. They have lost their... Their... their lost the scent, the, the smell. Scent. And said the old horse, perhaps the hair will get off. What hair? I said, oh, I don't know what hair, likely enough, it may be one of our own hairs out of the, 
of the plantation. Plantation. Any hair they can find will do for the dogs and the men to run after. And before long, the dogs began their yo yo again, and back they came all together at full speed, making straight for our me meadow at the part where the high bank and hedge overhead and brook the high bank. Oh, now we shall see the hair and my mother and just my mother and just then I a hair will with fright rushed by the and made for the plantation. Oh on came the dogs they burst over the bank, leaped and stream. Six or eight men leaped their horses, cleared over close upon the, the dogs. The hare tried to get through the fence. It was too thick, thick, late. The dogs were upon her with their wild cry. We heard one shriek, and that was the end of, of her. One of the husks men rode up the whip of the dogs who would soon have torn her too. Pieces he held up her pieces pieces he held up her he held her up by the legs torn and blending and all the gentlemen seemed well pieced as far me I was so. Astonished. Astonished that I did not at first see what was going on by the brook. But when I did look there, was a sad sight. Two fine horses were down. One was scru struggling, struggling in the stream, and the other was Growing, groaning, groaning on the grass. One of the riders was getting out of the water covered with mud. The other lay quiet still. His neck is broken, and said, "Broken," said my mother, and serves him right to said one of the colts. I thought. The same, but my mother did not join with us. Well, no, she said. You must not say that, but Joe, I am an old horse, and I have seen. Wait, wait, see, and heard a great deal. I never yet could make out why men are so found of this sport. They often hurt themselves, often spool good horses and tear up their the field, and all for a hare or a fox or a stag that they could get more easily some other way but we are only horses they could get more easily some other way. But we are only horses 
and don't you know whilst whilst my mother was saying this stood and looked on many of the right and gone to the young man but my master many of the riders had gone to the young man but my master who had been watching what was going on was the first to rise his head fell back to his arm hung down and every one look where looked very serious. There was no noise now. Even the dogs were quiet and seemed to know that something was wrong. They cried him to our master's house. I heard afterwards. Yep. I heard afterwards that it was carried him to our master house. I heard afterwards, wait, I carried him to uh, young George Garden, the squares, only saw a fine tall young man and the pride of his family. They were now riding off the decorations to the decorations to the fairies and no don't the square gardens to let him know what uh, about his son when Mr Bond the fairy father came to look at the black horse that lay groaning on the grass. He felt him all over and shook his head. One of the legs was broken. Then someone ran to our master house and came back with a gun. Personally? Presently. Presently. There was a loud bang over a dreadful shriek, and then all was still. The black horse moved no more. My mother seemed much troubled. She said she had known the horse for years and that his name was Rob Roy. He was a good bull bald horse and there was no voice in him. He never would go to that part of the field Afterwards, not many days after, he heard the creek bell twirling for a long time, and looking over the gate, he saw a long string black horses. After that came another, and another, and another, and all were black while the bell kept twirling and twirling twirling and twirling they were crying young garden to the frenzy the bear to bury him he would never ride again what they did with rob roy i never knew but twice was twas Yep, twas. Twas all for one little hair. And if you don't know what a hair is, it's a it's another word for a 
um, bunny or a rabbit. Okay. And then here's a picture of a bunny or a hare. And that's a picture of the person of the two horses. Okay. We're going to leave off here because this is chapter three. Okay. Very good. It's Black Beauty. Black Beauty. And do you want to hear what's something that's on the back? Yeah. My troubles are all over and I am at home. Honest Well Black Beauty. Okay. It says Honest Well Black Beauty. And Anna Sewell. Anna Sewell. Black Beauty. Sewell must who wrote it. Mm-hmm. Okay, very good. Very nice. Good job reading. Thank you.